Good morning, YouTube family. It's Coach Erica Janelle. I'm so sorry I haven't come before you guys in 2021. Um, I've been working on my own journey, um, dealing with some things that have impacted my life um, toward the end of last year. So I had to work on my own self-love journey and focus on my healing and my restoration. But I wanted to come before you guys today um, as I'm still working through my processes just to kind of give you guys a word of encouragement. It's a new year, it's a new season. It's time for us to do some new things. So I just encourage you guys to write out a list of the things that you really, really want to accomplish this year. And whatever those things may be, whether it's relationally or financially or spiritually or otherwise, write out that list and begin to put your goals and set your goals um, down and write them before you. Um, the Bible says that if you write the vision and make it plain, those that see it can run with it. And it's important to know where you're going. Um, it's not enough to say, okay, this year I want to be successful. I want to make a million dollars without a plan. So it's going to be very important to plan out those processes and the things that you want to do to better your life, better yourself. Work on your self-love, work on your healing, work on your physical body, work on your finances. Whatever those goals are, I encourage you guys to just put those things before you write them out and make sure that you're giving yourself something to look at, something, some really tangible, reachable, consistent goals. Um, one of the things that I've been doing is I looked at my vision board. I made this vision board back in 2019. And I looked back over the vision board and I saw some of the things that I've, I had on the vision board originally I've already done and I've accomplished. And there are still some things that I'm still waiting to accomplish. So instead of reinventing the wheel, I wanted to just add to my current vision board and continue to expound on the, the things that I want to see in this, this new year of 2021. 2020 was a rough year for many of us. Um, it was a, a great year in other aspects for many of us. Um, I know for me personally, business-wise, 2020 was an amazing year. Um, just me being able to launch different things and things of that nature. But 2020 was also a very challenging year in other ways. Um, so I want to encourage you guys to take those things that you really, really want to see change in your life and start making those small, small steps, the tiny steps. They make a difference. Whether it's something massive or huge or big, it, it's not always going to start big. Sometimes it's the little things, the little adjustments. If you know you need to work on your finances, like I have a goal of where I want my credit score to be this year. So the little tweaks is going to be the thing that helps. So one of the little tweaks I did was to start making sure that all of my payments that are coming out are coming out automatically. That way I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm going to have the money for it or whatever the case may be. I know that I'm going to make the money for it, so let me just have them come out automatically. That way I don't risk being late on anything or forgetting to pay something and it's and it's running behind or and it affects my credit score. So that's a little small tweak, a little small adjustment that I'm making and it's going to make a big difference in the big scheme of things as I'm growing in my um my journey to correct my credit and get my credit where I want my credit to be. So it's just the little small things. So I encourage you guys to write those things down. Take some time for yourself. Um, it's so important. I feel like we as life coaches, we are always giving you know advice on things that how people should do things. But sometimes you have to take your own advice and step back and take some time for yourself. And that's what I've done and that's what I'm doing. I'm still working through some things personally. I'm still working on my book. Um, I'm really trying to go really hard and have this book done by March because I wanna take that to the next level. Um, there are some things that are, are really exciting things that I'm doing with Erica Janelle Life Coaching and Mentoring. And so I'm ready to take that to the next level. So as I finish my book, I'm gonna really expand this particular brand and you guys will be seeing more of me um, I've, I moved, <laughs> so I'm still getting everything the, exactly the way I want it. Um, so I will be doing way more videos um, in my house um, with everything the way that it needs to be. So I just wanted to let you guys know 
I haven't forgotten you. I still love you very much. Um, you guys still are the reason why I do what I do. And I'm grateful for you. I'm encouraging you to continue to fight the good fight of faith and to continue to work on you, be the best version of you that you can be. No matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody thinks, you continue to work on you because God has something big for us. And it's all in the preparation. It's all in the work that we put in. If we put in the work and we prepare ourselves accordingly, God will bless us. So I just wanted to encourage you guys. I love you guys very much and have a wonderful week. You will be seeing me again. Um, like I said, I'm finally getting everything together like I want it in my house. So I'm feeling more free to, to do more videos at home. So I will be seeing you guys a lot more. I have a lot of things to share with you, a lot of growth, a lot of experiences that I've personally dealt with that I want to help you guys go through. I love you guys very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.